We need a revelation. We need our eyes to be opened. And each person here needs a personal uh, relationship with God Almighty. We all must recognize who Jesus Christ is. He is the Son of the Living God. And when the people in the countryside came to Jesus that day, the Bible tells me they recognize Jesus. When you recognize Jesus, faith begins to rise within your heart. This is Jesus Christ. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This is Jesus. The way, the truth and the life. This is Jesus. By whose name men can be saved. There is no other way. We must look unto him. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the beginning and he is the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all those that look to Jesus that day, and those who gaze upon Jesus, when you have a revelation and see him who he is, as the pure spotless lamb of God, behold the precious lamb of God that cometh to take away the sins of God. to our Father who is in heaven. And God himself made that way. God himself opened the door. I would much rather believe God than man. Man lies, but God cannot lie. She came from home when she had pains in her stomach. But when she came here, Jesus touched her and she's whole. Thank now. you, Lord. Thank you. She has been having, you know, uh, pains in her knees for a very long time. But when she came to the meeting, the Lord has just touched her and she's perfectly healed. Jesus touched her. Asanda Yesu umuguze kabisa. She has been having, you know, uh, pains in her ribs, sides of the ribs, for a long time. But when she came to the meeting, the Lord has removed pains in her, her ribs and in her sides completely. So she's perfectly healed. Thank you, Jesus. So praise the Lord. Let's give a praise to the Lord. Okay. From yesterday and the other day, she had her right hand paining her. But when she came here, the Lord healed her hand perfectly Thank in Jesus. Jesus' name. He has been having chest pains for many days. But when he came to the meeting, the chest pains have completely gone in Jesus' name. She has been having high blood pressure. 
and her, uh, you know, her legs and her side has been really paining her. But when she came here, the Lord has touched her life. Amen. There is a path. Kuna njia. There is a way. Kuna 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 mapito na tena kuna njia. That may seem right unto a man. Kuna njia ionekanayo kuwa ni sawa majoni pa mtu. But the end leads to destruction. Lakini mwisho wa njia hiyo ni mauti. The end leads to eternal damnation. Mwisho wa njia hiyo ionekanayo ni mzuri kwako inakuongoza kwa uharibifu wa milele. There is a place called hell. Kuna mahali kunapo itwa kuitwa hapo jehanamu. And you were not created to go there. Na wewe haukuumbwa na Mungu kwenda jehanamu. It was made for the devil and his angels. Jehanamu yani ziwa la moto hilo liliumbwa kwa ajili ya shetani na malaika wake walio asi. While there is still time turn your hearts to God. Wakati kuangalipo wakati. In the book of Acts when Peter preached there were 3,000 men and women that day that were moved within their hearts as the word of God was delivered and they cried out what must I do to be saved do we live in comfort While the dying live out in the cold And time goes by so quickly Days turn into months And months turn into years means exactly this to stop going the way you were going to about turn and go the other direction we must seek him with all your hearts for those who seek him with all their hearts shall find him I'd like to give you the opportunity right now to surrender your life to God if this is you I ask you now to stand to your feet. I declare first of all that all your sins are forgiven. I break the power of Satan. I break every curse now. Satan, I loose you from every person. I bind the strong man. And I take his spoil in the name of Jesus. I take it for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And right now in Jesus' name, I declare be filled with the Holy Spirit. Run! Jesus. Now look at me. Do you believe God can heal you? That stands here in front of me. Be God in Jesus' name.
you say miracle God has done to her? Yes. She has been having, you know, uh, uh, her legs have been burning like fire, okay? Paining her, and she has not been able to stand. But right now, God has made her, given her, her feet strength to stand up, and she's able, uh, you know, to dance her legs. Thank okay? you, Jesus. She came from home, she had the chest pains and stomach pains, but God has touched to heal her completely. Kwanza ki mungu sije kuelewa vizuri. Mungu amekufanyia ni kitu gani? Amemponya mtoto kwa kutabika. Okay. Her child was vomiting and that was you know an oppressive type of vomiting. But right now the Lord has healed the child from vomiting. Ni hayo. Since yesterday she was so sick, she had a throbbing head. Head pains, okay? As if somebody was trying to cut her head. But right now, when you prayed, God has made her whole. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Last night, she slept and she had, you know, she was not even able to breathe because of the chest pains, okay? And, the, you know, she had some pains from this side of, the, of her head. But right now, God healed her completely. Hallelujah. She has been having, you know... <clears throat> Pains actually uh, this side of her leg, you know, in the muscles and uh, uh, in her hand. But right, now, uh, but a uh, while ago when you prayed, she got Thank healed. You for your healing, Lord. Yes. We give you praise. She was having back pains and yeah. the hand pains, but she's right now uh, made whole. From head to toe. In Jesus' name. Lord, please take my heart. And mold me into your plan I long for you to guide me To lead me by your hand Oh Lord, please take my heart I never want to be found without you Jesus, I never want to go with all For the, Lord. For the Lord shall uphold him with his strong, mighty right hand. We serve a God of power. We serve a God of might. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the day of Jesus. There was too much of the law. Listen, the Lord just brought death. The, the commandments of God brings forth death. It, it exposes sin. It shows and reveals the darkness in mankind. But God sent his son Jesus Christ. To come into a darkened world. The world that has been darkened by sin. The world that has been darkened by pr pride and arrogance and selfishness. And God sent his son Jesus as the light of life. 
lakini Mungu alimtuma mwana wake Yesu kama nuru ya limweku nuru ya ya uzima We need no longer to stay in the darkness of sin. But when the light comes into darkness, the darkness flees. And so he speaks these words to us. It is more than words. It is an invitation. It is more than an invitation. It is a commandment of God Almighty. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. It is time to fall upon our knees. And to be exceedingly sorry for our sins. To weep and cry before him. And to cry out for the mercy of God. For there's nothing else that can save. While we were sinners. Christ Jesus died for us. The blood of Jesus has broken the curse of sin. The blood of Jesus has broken the curse of sickness and disease. Do you hear me? If you hear me, say You're the very air I breathe That lifts me up and makes me sound You're the rock on which I stand When my ground is sinking sand You're my glory and the lifter of my head And when all around is storm Your anchor holds me when I'm worn And you guide me through to the break of the day The rock on which I stand When my ground is sick and sand You're my glory and the lifter of my hand And when all around is storm Your anchor holds me when I'm worn And you guide me through to the break of the day And when all around is storm I cannot stand. I'm 
Jesus Christ. It must flee. It came. Jesus came to destroy. To utterly destroy the works of the devil. He is powerless. He is a toothless lion. Jesus is the victor. Jesus a mighty warrior. You must turn from your sin. You must cry out for mercy. And he will shower his blessing upon you. For just as rain waters the earth, and it does not return to the heavens and it soaks into the soil and as the rain brings forth a crop it brings forth fruits so also the word of God that is set forth from his mouth shall not return void but it shall accomplish for his word is like a mighty sword and today he desires to pierce you to pierce you between soul and spirit with a sharp two-edged sword he thrusts forth his word He said, okay, we may go on. I will not destroy you. I will send an angel before you. But my presence shall no longer go with you. And Moses cried out, Unless your presence go with us, O God, Will you cry out tonight? Unless your presence, oh God, unless your presence comes upon me now, I cannot live any longer. It's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord, showers of His glory. They're beginning to fall right now.
Kwani Biblia inasema kwamba walikuwa wanaleta wagonjwa kando kando mwa jie vijia vya mji. And when Peter walked down the streets, na Petro alipokuwa anatembea katika barabara za mji, when Peter's shadow was cast upon the sick, yani kivuli cha Petro kingaliangukia mgonjwa, they were raised up and healed by the power of God. Na kivuli cha Petro That was the shadow of Peter. What about how much more? How much more? The shadow of all God Almighty. Kama kivuli cha Petero kiliponya wagonjwa, je, si zaidi kivuli cha Mungu mwenyewe. Waje niseme tena, nirudie. If the shadow of Peter healed, kama kivuli cha Petero kiliponya wagonjwa, how much more if we dwell under the shadow of the Almighty? Je, si zaidi tunapo tunapoishi chini ya kivuli cha Mungu mwenyezi. Have you got it? Je, una umekipata? Hallelujah. The Bible says about Moses and the children of Israel it says that the children of Israel saw the works of God but Moses knew his ways the people saw God's works but Moses knew the heart of God Job said once my ears had heard of him but now my eyes have behold him she has been uh, having asthmatic condition severely yep. but when you prayed the Lord touched her heart and he healed her she was having just uh, head pains but when, when you prayed he felt a sensation of fire moving in her body in his body and he's right now healed yesterday this child uh, you know had pains and chest pains but right now she's healed she has been having swollen breasts with pains in the breasts but when you prayed she was filled with the holy spirit and she felt a sensation of fire yeah. in her body yeah. Yeah. and she believes yeah. Yeah. god is made her whole yeah hallelujah she came from home when this hand actually was numb and she was not able to hold anything but right now the hand has strength amen squeeze yeah, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. right you. you feel good? Mm -hmm. you come, you shall speak in a language from heaven. And you shall be filled with power and with the Holy Spirit. And the fire of heaven shall come upon you. Jesus name. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. And with fire, in the name of the Lord Jesus, speak. Yes, 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 Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak to every spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, the Most High God, I speak to every power and principality of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every demon power. And I come in the name of Jesus, you lose every person. She has been weakling all the week, but when she came here, she now has received the strength in her body. <laughs> she has been high. She came from home when you know she had some uh, head pains, but when she came here, you prayed, and the pains in the head went.
Nasikia tu vizuri. She has been asthmatic uh, for a long time and her parents have been telling her that this asthmatic condition in her life is of, of their generation, okay? Yes. But right now when she came to this meeting, you prayed, the Lord tightened her life and she's no longer asthmatic in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. She came here when she was uh, having, you know, stomach pains and uh, the child has been uh, asthmatic, okay? Yes. But right now, they feel better and they are healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> She has been having, you know, head pains, and also on the top of her head here, here, it has been paining her, but the pains have just gone. Thank you, Lord. Uh, she has been having, uh, you know, pains in her head. She was not even able to carry a bucket, okay? A bucket on her head, but right now, she believes she's going to carry a bucket of yep. water. Amen. In, her head. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. When we all get to heaven, we will pray. Precious in his sight when we all get to heaven, we will pray. I see many people healed. Uh, lame people, lame people, 
and then uh, people who are not here, the people who are at town, I see it a miracle, I see everything is possible. Uh, Holds Coast manifests all people in Kenya, and we see that this is first, but it is wonders, it is marvelous things which we saw. So. May Africa. God bless you. Uh, I'm God. very glad to have uh, uh, Paul, to have Paul, uh, Bishop Australia Paul. in our church. Uh, he came to us in the power of the Holy Spirit and he preached the gospel with all boldness and in demonstration of the Holy Spirit and power. Many souls God saved, many souls God healed, and many people were delivered from demonic powers. But what if it all was taken away? Could you stand here and say, I love you, Jesus. I love you with my life. Cause nothing else matters. Cause you're the center. You're the center of my I was, uh, I came here yesterday when I was shuddering like this. Because I was sickly. When, they, when the servant of God called, made an altar call for the sick people, I stood before here. I love Pastor Anakuja Anashika Ananiwombea. And the pastor came and laid hands on my head. And he prayed for me and I continued to tremble. There and then I was instantly healed. I came out of this place walking with my feet and in, a, in, in peace. When I came here the first day, I was so, you know, um, weak in my body. I was so feeble in my spirit and in my body. But when I heard the gospel, 
uh, and the servant of God prayed over me. I, I got strengthened in my body, in my spirit and in my body. And I was baptized into the Holy Spirit. And I see the Holy Spirit waking me up to pray even in the midnight. I was weak in, uh, in prayer in life, in my prayer life. But after I received the Holy Spirit, I normally pray more and more. Uh, since that day, I see I'm strengthened in my spirit. By God's redeeming sacrifice, it's His love that draws me closer, and His grace, His grace that brings me Take my heart. 